yeah, I was just considering messing around with the idea of uh, pretending to mime the entire stream, uh, but you know. Yeah, I was just oh, considering God. messing around with the idea of uh, pretending to mime the entire stream. Why is uh, this yeah, happening? I was just oh, God. Messing around. No, oh, nope, it's good. Actually, actually, it's good. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Listen. Uh, the opening gambit that I was actually going to distract you with was me talking about uh, the fact that, hey, if you're going to be spray painting things, put the long sleeve shirt on before you spray paint them. So that way the paint doesn't end up on your body and then therefore difficult to remove. The second thing that I was going to talk about was how much I like uh, painting because it made me think about minifigs and that was a thing that I enjoy. Um, Things that I don't enjoy, sort of general chores around the house, uh, sometimes specific chores around the house that are not general, but very precise and, and unique. But that's a weird thing for me to say when we're going to be going to Project Zomboid, which is just chores during the zombie apocalypse. Um, but I love, I love doing them in that situation. Um, we haven't talked about Maslow's hierarchy of needs in a long time. We haven't talked about, uh, you know, the big brain stuff that make me look good in the do think. Uh, but zombie apocalypse media is like very perfect for that. So we'll talk about it at some point in time. Um, weirdly enough, of all of the streams that I'm thinking of, Project Zomboid is the one that I'm both the most excited for and the least excited for because on one hand, um, zombie apocalypse, you know what you're getting. But on the other hand, like, the problem with Project Zomboid is there is no storyline stuff. So there's no prep I have to do for stream. There's no quickly gather all of the stuff that makes the gameplay playable because it's an RPG and you do care about loot. There's no, like, getting to the correct cinematic angle. Oh, also, in Dragon's Dogma 2, I found the place where I originally found my Seeker's token, I found the Finder's token, I recorded it all locally, I'm gonna splice it together so this upcoming Tuesday, instead of a normal go live thing, you will see at like two times speed and chopped up uh, how I found the Finder's token, because it's not interesting. I still hate that Sphinx riddle, it's not a riddle. That's besides the point, that's, not, that's nothing to do with what we're talking about today. Um, but yeah, hey everybody, uh, and specifically hey Ender friend, Mesvia, Clary, hey hey, uh, and is that is that over there on the distance? Look to you before the coming of the seventh dawn. I don't remember that Lord of the Rings reference. Is it Sathies? Um, somebody named Presna is here. Can we please ban them? Mods, uh, mod check. This is a bit. Uh, please, please don't. I need, I need everyone that I can get. Uh, um, yeah, so real quick, uh, obviously stream today was a little bit slower. We're working on a bunch of stuff. Um, we're putting goals down, and the reason why I'm starting to put goals down is because uh, I am trying to get back on that grind for, for, for professional streamer. Um, so hey, if you like the the content that I do here and you're not subscribed or following on Twitch or same things for YouTube, uh, subscribed or, uh, you know, hanging out. We've also got a Discord. We got the whole nine yards. I don't shill myself enough. I've been told to shill myself more. And I've also been told to shill myself a lot. So you get it. Um, that... Timer shouldn't be there, but thank you for the welcome command, under friend. We gotta update it, but yeah. And it's good to see you, Top Hat. Ooh. Look to the east on the dawn of the fifth day. Mesphia, a hundred, a hundred demo points. I cannot assign them individually, but take whatever your demo dollar total is and add a hundred to it. You only got bits. Well, Presna, that's not... That's not what I said, is it? No, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, to not put too fine a point on it, there is, on the, on the financial side of things, if we get to, um, 
a hundred subscriptions for every subscription that happened before we got to a hundred i'm just going to magically get uh a buck more for all for all of them and then if we get to 300 which is an unrealistic goal i'm not putting anything on that uh i get two dollars and fifty cents more for every subscription that i already have which you know what i mean qualifying members blah 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 twitch can choose to deny us but also affiliates can now qualify all that all that nonsense but yeah um those movies are too deeply embedded in your mind they're the, they're they're masterpieces so you get it Hey, hon, we're going to get a death counter today. Maybe. <laughs> I, 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 it would be slightly messy, but I don't think we need it. I, I'll be honest, I don't think we'll need a death counter. I think we're going to be just fine. So. Um, is this a, the percentage splits? It is, Ender Friend. Yeah. Um... So I just, I just got to get it out of the way because the existential terror of not having health insurance hits me every time, besties. Excited for the stream, Project Zomboid is so fun to witness. Sathies. I appreciate that. We do like a little bit of Zomboid in this household. Um, we don't need a death counter, but I don't genuinely remember how many deaths we had. Can anybody tell me? It's still snowing here, so you get a cozy evening flurry stream. God, I'm so sorry it's snowing there, Ender Friend, but, uh... Um, let's say four. Ain't no way I've died four times in Zomboid Mesphia. Is that true? Is that true? Have I died four times? Well, you haven't led us astray yet, so close, maybe three, we'll say four. All right, hold on, let me... Uh... Wait, do I already have something called death counter? What? No, I do not. Okay, hold on. Fine. Uh, what? I, I was just about to ask you guys what font you wanted. Absolutely not. It's going to be 60 on Monday for the Eclipse. Ooh, very nice. Oh, I actually have... Special Eclipse sunglasses for staring directly into the sun but only during the eclipse. So that'll be good. We'll, we'll enjoy that. I, I literally knew people were gonna say Comic Sans, yeah. Um, uh, okay, death, counter, sure, fine. Um, I'm going to use sketch block because I always use sketch block and I like it. Deaths, three. No, four, fine. I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know why you're asking for this. We're not going to die anymore. It's a very silly thing you're asking for because four deaths is going to be the maximum. The, the number four in Chinese sounds like the word for death. So we've done it, we're done. Um, but yeah, okay, let's get into it. Uh, I've said that I'm going to stop recapping in part because, oh God, oh God, I don't remember. It's 3.20, so it's not TV time. Um, if you want to know, there's VODs on Twitch, there's VODs on YouTube, go over there. Get, get over there. Um, but we are trying to get back to what I affectionately refer to as the promised land um, and it's called the promised land because it has high fences and uh like it's an entire beautiful neighborhood now of course this area has high fences but it is very small and so if we get into a zombie problem we will instantaneously die uh like if, if a horde comes we abandon this house um, 
No, I didn't want to open my curtains. Wait. What? Yeah. Rude. Um, okay, so we were securing up this place, making a base of operations, and then we were going to go on to... Uh, trying to get back to, as I refer to it, the promised land. Let's eat this corn, because we're a little bit hungry, but we're a little bit overweight. We were working on carpentry four, that's right! We were working on carpentry four. Let's sit on the ground and get rid of some of this exa exertion. We're working on carpentry four to because carpentry four is when we unlock the ability to get rain barrels, and water was turned off on day two. Which, this is like the fourth or fifth time, uh, freaking the water has turned off on day two, which is getting really upsetting. Don't die this time when you have high carpentry. You know what sucks about the last time we died is we didn't even have high carpentry. We just had higher carpentry than we had before. Yeah, Zomboid hates me and water. Genuinely tragic. Um, we've got a pretty good setup in terms of equipment. Uh, we've got a nice jacket. We've got this trauma bag, which is counting as a uh, duffel bag. Um, we have managed to put up exactly one log wall, so we haven't finished securing this place up. But it's a nice little, like, temporary holdout. Like, we'll probably use this place as a base even in the future. Um, the main thing is that we are absolutely losing our gourd. We are so tired. Can y'all hear a weed whacker in the background? This TV remote is not helpful, but yeah. Uh, nobody can hear a weed whacker? Fantastic. Much appreciated. Um, there is no weed whacker. It was a trick. A cunning ruse. I'm gonna move the death counter to the bottom right because there is some information at the top. Bottom left, yes, not bottom right, thank you. Let's go ahead and read this metal work magazine. By the time that we get um, a propane torch and enough metal to do anything with this, uh, is way too far in the future, but we are extremely tired and very exerted, so there's not too much else that we can do right now. Uh, yeah, we the only gun that we have is a rifle, which is un which is unfortunate because I'm not entirely convinced that the rifle is terribly useful. Um, we'll start putting garbage that we don't need in the cardboard box. And we'll use the shelf for useful things, right? So, like, there is a crowbar inside the dresser still. That crowbar is useful. This book is not terribly useful, but for whatever reason, reading books reduces stress, boredom, and makes us happier. Not me, though. I hate books. Books are for nerds, and I'm gonna make it in the zombie apocalypse. Which means I I'm not reading. You get it. It would be nice...
Uh, TV time is popping up, and then we're going to go straight to bed. Um, but what we'll do in the meantime is we are going to go ahead and just practice our reloading skill. Are we ever going to get to a point where having a high reloading skill is useful? Probably not. Uh, am I going to do it anyways because it's something to do in the meantime and that way I can feel better about not fast forwarding? Yes. Yes, I am. I have very superstitious feelings about the fast forward button. Um, it's a part of the reason why I like multiplayer Project Zomboid so much is because... Oh no, it's survival! We need carpentry! Dean, you're definitely my favorite TV personality, but, you know. Um, that's because the carpentry guy sucks, but you get it. Uh, I like multiplayer servers that do not have um, sleep enabled because uh, trapping. Uh, because then the only thing you need to worry about is exhaustion, but it does mean it gets rid of you, some of the, um, the debuffs that you can take that are kind of fun. So. God, I've got a rank in trapping of all things. Like, I mean, it is useful late game, but, you know. Okay, I think that was all for the TV. We're going to go ahead and put back away the rifle magazine. We're going to set an alarm on our watch for TV time. Then we're going to go to sleep. Am I sure I want to sleep? Roll those TV time gamba dice. How dare you? We're totally fine. No dice are being rolled. Uh, we woke up, in fact, before the alarm even had an opportunity to pop off, so let's go ahead and remember to turn off the alarm. Uh, let's go ahead and offload some of the things that we have in our trauma bag right now. This first aid kit we don't need to carry with us. We will carry the can opener. Uh, sure, we'll hold on to vitamins. The vitamins in this game, hilariously, work instantly. So, you know, if you're, uh... <laughs> like, on the run, you can just grab some vitamins, and they'll, they'll do the trick. But, yeah. Oh, that's soap. We aren't gonna dismantle this bathroom. It's not useful anymore. I mean, we're not going to dismantle it now, but when we get the chance, we will dismantle it. Um, we have a way of chopping ham, don't we? Do we just not have a knife? Is the con is the concept of slicing ham too difficult for us? I just want slices of ham, please. Well, never mind. Oh no, we just literally don't have a knife. All right, well, that's something to look out for while we're out there. Oh, and we do have these two planks, so yeah. 
I forgot to turn off the raiding nightbot. Yeah, no knife, unfortunately. Uh, nightbot. Hold on. Because we're not doing P12S tonight, actually. Um, okay, we are throwing the ham back in the fridge. I'm not eating an entire ham, or even a quarter of an entire ham. That's insane. Uh, uh, what can we eat that's fresh? Mm. Is it insane? Well, I guess it depends on the size of the ham, right? I'm imagining like a bow-in, bow-in? A bone-in shank of ham, right? But all right, fine. You know what? I'll eat a quarter of a thing of ham, fine. You win this round. Oh, it didn't actually... I thought it was going to, like, fill us up, but never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and start reading metalworking. Not again that metalworking is something that we will be able to use. Uh, effectively at this point in the game, but, uh, GG, hey, 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 we're doing some more Project Zomboid. Um, not that this metalworking book is going to be helpful again, but we just still don't have a carpentry book. Um, and carpentry one wouldn't help us anymore at this point anyways. Cook show! I don't need cooking. Ay ay ay. Was that the end? Hmm. Okay. We gotta keep our eyes peeled for noon. Because noon time, we are going to get uh, next TV time. And we were going to start dealing with some of the houses up here. Because I think for the most part we cleared out this house. I don't believe we were able to get into this shed. Oh no, we were. Uh, and it had car useful things, so basically useless. Yeah, doing okay. Today was a bit of a slog. But hey, it's almost Friday. We do did not explore this house yet. We are worried, of course, as always, about, um, the house with the house alarm situation. Did those lads see me, or was that a hell of a coinkading? Nope, that lad saw me. Okay. I'm fairly happy fighting in this space. You have anything good on you? Not really. You're doing great, hell yeah. Yeah, so I was watching um, Sips.
play Project Zomboid. And he got to this one boy, Rashad Howe is, I think, the name of them, because, like, Sips actually uses the, like, randomly pre-generated characters and stuff. Or the randomly rolled characters. Um, and Sips was getting to the point in Zomboid that I always kind of dread, which is being very competent, but, like, again, no man is an island, right? I'm so stressed about a zombie coming up behind us right now. Oh, fuck, it's a house alarm. Um. Well, we knew it was coming eventually. Shit. Uh... Nope, this is bad. Please, literally no one else show up. I'm also currently operating under the assumption that there's no zombies inside the perimeter. Do they go forever? They don't. But um, the, the concept behind a house alarm is that they are loud and that they grab attention, right? So uh, zombies will definitely be migrating into that area, which means that this neighborhood is going to be a lot more fight centric. Uh, we were worried about the helicopter event, right, in the past. Just wondering if it was a condemned zone. I mean... How are we doing... So, the crowbar is the long blunt. Um, we're almost at level 1 with it. Our maintenance is about to level up. We could probably clear it out, depending on how bad it is, right? Um, but yeah... I, I don't know, for whatever reason, playing Project Zomboid in front of all y'all uh, has really decreased my skill and ability at it, so I have been a little bit more careful recently, uh, because I was like, oh yeah, I'm good at this game and know what I'm doing, and then, you know, have uh, died numerous times, so... Oopsie poopsie. I mean, the good news is, is that if there are any boys who are like ambiguously wandering around, right, they're all gathered here. So we could probably go down and go to the trailer park, but I, I'm worried about how many boys will show up for that alarm. Um, because some of the boys will get distracted on the way over to the house and the house alarm. And what that means is that they'll just like hang out in the forests. And if they're hanging out in the forest, that means the areas that I've been running that I felt safe in previously, not so safe. Um, so what we might want to do, there's, there's two schools of thought on this now, right? Obviously school of thought, number one, get over there, murder them, reduce the number of zombies that you have to potentially worry about. That's the school of thought that I normally prescribe to school. Number two, um, we go and follow this road out, see what's, what's over yonder ways. Um, I'm personally leaning that school because again, for all my talk of knowing exactly, of like, I know Moldra like the back of my hand, I have no idea where we are or what's going on. You vote yonder. Fair enough. We can try yonder. We can't ex- we can't exercise, or at least I'm not willing to exercise because, um, do we have nails? I cannot remember if we got nails. We got no nails. Um, I'm not willing to exercise because exercising decreases our 
combat viability, basically. Combat viability. It makes us tired. Exercising makes us tired, and when we're tired, uh, we're less effective at fighting zombies. So, yeah. The map filler outer in you is hungry for more. Yeah, we can definitely do it. I mean, like, we've dealt with a good chunk of the zombies who are ambling around out here. But we do have zombie respawns on, because I believe that is a default for survivor difficulty. One of the reasons why I'm not thrilled about going this way, in part, is um, we just don't know that there's anything over there, right? So when you're going through neighborhoods, you kind of have at least some sort of guarantee that you're, um, you're going to be getting something good. Like you're going to be able to root through houses, find canned foods, find all sorts of things. With this route, I don't need a letter opener. With this route, we don't really know what's happening, right? What's so funny is on a single player playthrough with a friend, I definitely remember spawning at that house before. Cut the ham with the letter opener? How dare you? Yeah, this... sucks. Completely unexplored. We don't know anything about this area. I'm not thrilled about how many trees there are, both because it means that we could come around a corner and there just be a horde, or it means that there could be zombies behind us, right? Oh no, like that. Did I mention I'm a big scaredy cat when it comes to these games? Okay, that's these two boys. Is there anyone else? It does not look like it. Um, so we've talked about Maslow's hierarchies. <laughs> we've talked about Maslow's hierarchy of needs before. That refers to, I've literally never seen train tracks in Boldra in my life. Um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs refers to... Oh, we leveled up Long Blunt. I would love it if you would die, bestie. Um, the uh, priorities of needs... Um, with regards to your survival. Um, it's, it's often used in education to sort of talk about the priorities of uh, what you should, uh, it, it was used in like shows like Survivor and stuff like that, right? To sort of talk about um, the, the way, the winning strategies of survivors, but it was also, it was also used did I actually look at the right body there? I did not. Not that he had anything better on him. Oh no, it's almost noon! We're definitely missing this TV time. 
we're, and this TV time, I'm almost willing to guarantee you, freaking, uh, it's going to have been Carpentry. We will never get Carpentry 4, and I'm so unhappy about that. Um, oh god. Why'd you come out of the woods, jerk? This is far more lads than I expected to get. Good thing we just leveled up Long Blunt. I'm sure that'll be... Oh my god, why are you coming out? There wasn't even a house alarm in this area. My hubris. Okay. Let's go through to see what they have. Nothing good. Somebody did have something. A hand fork is fine. That could be useful for farming if we get that long. Uh, easy peasy, yeah. Listen, I'm just saying. Oh, and also, GG, we're trying something new, so I do want to apologize. Um, we're trying it that... Uh, subtitles will show up on uh, the YouTube VOD um, or uh, on the live on the live stream. So unfortunately, what might be happening is you might be uh, seeing a larger delay than usual. Let me know if, if that's something that's bothering you. Uh, if it is, no sweat. I'm more than happy to go back to ultra low latency. Um, it's just something we're trying out. We are tired. This denim shirt has no holes. We'll grab an extra pair of jeans. Big man, I require your peak opinion. I don't know that I got a peak one, but I can try. Uh, you have 600 folies. Should you buy a mount and sell it or buy a mount and keep it? Because that 10 million gil is really tempting. Uh, I will be honest with you. I am of the opinion that if you have the option to go liquid, to always go liquid, especially with Dawn Trail coming out and player interest being renewed. Um, but if you uh, sit on the mount, right, it's going to be worth more later. So, yeah. Nope, to you it's great. So, yeah. All right. Just wanted to be sure if you're if it's working for you, GG, we'll we'll rock and roll. Uh, this I I am positive this is the wrong way, and we've already committed to not watching TV time. So let's try exploring somewhere over this ways a little bit. Um, frackle, frackle. We'll follow this path and see where it goes. Okay, exertions but down again. Uh, I don't know if I answered your question, Sathies. I would I would sell it for the ten million. This is another dangerous way to go. There could be a horde of zombies behind any tree. And that really worries me. I'm very scared. And there's no guaranteed reward for walking down this scary long path. It literally goes into dirt. This route is hell, and not a worthwhile endeavor. God, what a waste of time and energy. This is this just a road to hell? Where are we going? Thank you, Gigi. I came up with it myself. No, we're going back. We're going back. We're tired. We've got some moderate exhaustion lurking around the corner. 
This is not a worthwhile endeavor. We have nothing for our time and efforts out here. We have gained no resources. We've killed a couple of stragglers, and I guess we filled out the map more. Like, we know that our promised land is not over here. Don't like how wide open these fields are. Okay, actually fine. It's turning back into asphalt up here. Let's let's commit to the bit and see what's happening over here. Because we've already come this far, hey? Okay, another road. Another road is promising. It was the knowledge. We leveled up Long Blunt. We did level up Long Blunt, it's true. Okay, what's the story with this road? Where are you taking me? Wow, I really need you to give me literally anything, Road. I need, I need some sort of resource from this fact-finding mission. It's 2 p.m. No, we gotta start going back. Right? Surely we need to start going back. We weren't prepared for a long journey. We're tired. We have no place to rest up here. We need to go back. Where is this taking us? Yeah, we'll catch you, Gigi. Thanks for hanging out. I don't want to check my map while I'm out here. I'll be honest with you. I know that river is the lower bounds. Like, we definitely should be going back. But, like, the fact that this road is paved feels promising. 3 p.m. We have to start going back. We're going to get tired faster. We got to go. We leveled up light-footed, which is somewhat useful. Oh, we leveled up sneaking. Oh shit, there are zombies nearby. You don't level up sneaking unless there are zombies nearby that you've managed to avoid detection for. So that's... interesting. Wow, this car is messed up. Rubber bands, plastic bags. Cool. So useful. Hello, sir. Please be the only one who's around. You're not. There are more boys. Radical. We're already lightly exerted. Ooh, not stoked about how many boys are coming. Fuck, we need to find a house out here. It's too far to make a return journey. I think we have to commit. We have to be on the northern end of Muldraw. Oh no! Game lag! I don't like that crawler down there. Is that both of them down? Perfect. No, come on! No! God, I hate the way the game handles crawlers sometimes. 
Okay, sorry as I scream. Anything in your satchel? A book. Not terribly useful. The satchel itself can be fun. So we're going to grab that. Okay. The longest girl who draws... Or that one girl who draws cats, not the longest girl. I was about to ask what qualifies you to be the longest one. Hello! Yeah, this is bad. God, we gotta find a house. We can't make it back to our original place in time. That tired and exhaustion combo is gonna kill us. The only good part about this is that we are in the woods right now. Which, hopefully, we are not in the woods for much longer, you know what I mean? Where are we? we I'm seeing fields of wheat up here. So aside from us accidentally running in Teresa May, into Teresa May, we might be able to find a farmhouse. If we can find a farmhouse, we can sort of commit to being... Oh, buddy. Ah, shit. If we can find a farmhouse, uh, we can sort of try to make that as safe as possible. I need you to die yesterday, please. Okay. So there's this boy over there. Is that a farm? It might be. I hope it's a farm. Not stoked about the number of boys that are in it, but I hope it's a farm. You could be the longest. It's true. Oh man, we're gonna... Uh, this is bad. We've got the wombo combo of exhaustion and... Tired. Ah, God, we gotta try and sneak past... I need there to be a farmhouse. I need there to be a place with a door. All I am asking for is a place with a door. I don't care if it's a grain silo. I need you to give me this game, please. I have no idea where we are right now. This was a bad choice. I want to go home. Looks pretty farmy to you. Hope so. This was the best choice? This was the worst choice. We should have committed to eliminating the zombies by our home base. Because here's the other problem. We might still have to deal with zombies by our home base. Oh my god. Was this not a farmhouse? Is there no farm here? Oh no, here we go. Okay. It looks pretty farm to you. Yeah, I'm hoping. We'll see. I do not need... Please. Please just let me sleep here. Fine. Locked door to the outhouse. I literally do not care. Please don't have anybody in here. Okay, there's that boy down there. Not my favorite. Please don't be locked. Oh man, four boys. Do we think we can take four boys? Doesn't matter if we think we can take four boys! We've got five boys, actually. This is not good. 
this might be game over, I'll be honest with you. We did not glance at what's going on behind us. We could be walking directly into another horde. There's a crawler that we need to be careful of. We can no longer rely on the fact that we're standing on boys to mean that they're not getting up. Oh, fuck you, lady. No offense, but like, come on now. Oh, fuck. All three of them? No! I hate crawlers. They're the worst. I mean, like, nobody likes the idea of a human being crawling after them, right? And, like, trying to eat their feet. Unless you're into, like, some weird stuff. I'm not here to yuck your yum, right? But... <sighs> okay, that could have been worse. Did any of you have the decency to have a key? Key to the house that's nearby? No? Good. I love that for me. Okay. Nope, we're not coming down there. I need this window to not sound... Oh. No, we can't be distracted. I need this window to not sound an alarm. We're thirsty. We're tired. I need this window to not sound an alarm. Thank fucking God. I don't know that this house is safe. Jesus. This is going to be bad. Battery, what an incredibly useful thing that you have there. I love that you have one battery for me. What a treat. We gotta sleep and we gotta hope that we don't die from it, so. Everybody, uh, keep your fingers crossed, huh? It has a TV for the morning time. It does have a TV for the morning time, that's true. I'm not actually going to set an alarm. If we happen to wake up... For TV time, we might do TV time. We, got, we woke up exactly when TV time is. I don't know about this one, Chief. Cooking show! <sighs> Literally trash garbage. But also, uh, you know. Uh, we are simulcasting to YouTube and Twitch, so if you're wondering who I'm talking to, and that's going to be what's going on on the other side. Uh, but thanks for popping in, folks. I can't believe we're leveling up cooking. I mean, like, I can believe we're leveling up cooking, but... <sighs> Is it needed? Cooking is not exactly going to help us.
when we're in the thick of things. Yep. I'll be honest, I'm more amazed that you didn't actually come in. Pretty fresh this morning, though. Socks, denim shirt, denim shirt without holes. Leather jacket, leather jacket has a hole. Okay. We did not come in here yesterday because... Uh, we were too tired to even capitalize on this space, even if there was anything good in here. Saw, lug wrench, we've already got a saw. I can't remember. Oh, is this a freaking vehicle bay? Saws do not have durability, so we don't care. I'm actually going to huck this saw into our bag. We're not working on carpentry right now, obviously. There's a boy out there. These barrels are not interactable. All right, well, we're in hell. And hell sure does look like a place in Kentucky. Hello, sir. Your face looks so bad. What happened? I'm going to have to operate right away. Iron Rodent Leather Jacket. Iron Rodents Rule. Extra saw for base in case you die. Mmm, maybe. Actually, maybe. A saw is not useful without a hammer, and we don't have an extra hammer. But it's not the worst idea. In my hubris, when there's only three or less boys, I normally just push them over and stomp on them to death. Um, because that trains maintenance and it does not use weapon durability. Normally my favorite weapon is my bare, my bare hands. But we have been really relying on those lucky crowbar spawns. What does... What are these... Do these count as... Like wheat? Can we make bread? I don't think so. I remember reading something about build 42, but yeah. Did you just level up maintenance? We well, did! The maintenance skill in this game is a little different. If I try to pick this up, what is this qualified as? Single stacked hay. That can't be useful. Um, that's metal AF, I know. Thank you. Uh, maintenance is actually... Oh, does it not say? Maintenance is the chance when you use an item of the item's durability going down. So the higher your maintenance level is, the less uh, the less damage you will take. Um, you know, the less damage your items will take, which is better overall. In a modded, sorry, as I come over here and see some more zombies, this is not the route that we should be going for trying to get home as fast as possible. But apparently I've lost my freaking marbles, and I've decided that I am going to go through the problems instead of around them. In a modded... Sorry, Sathies, I'll read you in a sec. Nothing useful. 
And they modded, oh, Project Zomboid. A friend added swords and they had a gun and you could run in with a whole claymore, claymore and it's the most fun you ever had. I was actually really sad. So the devs uh, posted like them talking about blacksmithing and stuff, right? And so I've been very excited for the blacksmithing update, but then they said that they were purposefully trying to avoid uh, like metal worked armors looking like knights. And I was like, no, that's my entire thing. Like. Plate armor would literally never be more useful than it is during the zombie apocalypse. I'm not going around these people. It's going to be too exhausting. We're never coming back here, so killing them is not useful. We're leaving. Yeah, thanks for popping by, that one girl who draws cats. That character died in a military hospital. It was horrifying. Oofa doofa. Were you playing with the uh, default map settings? Back when zombie apocalypse narratives were like a lot more uh, popular, uh, in part because they were just more of them. Uh, this can't be the only house in this area, can it? Oh, we, uh, we picked up a friend. Um... There was this one zombie game that I remember where you were just like a bunch of circles, um, but you could use Google Maps places. And so I would always like put the Google Maps of like wherever I was living at that exact time um, to see like, OK, like where where are the best places to try and survive? And it like let you like draw over the map with like, this is a wall. These are doors, that sort of thing. So. Well, these two jabronis are still out here. You know what? I will go through the two of you. There's a new coming out in a month, this month, that is doing a similar thing. Is there really? What's it called? Oh, she's got a cowboy hat. Military boots, we've already got some of those, but more importantly, ye, and I must emphasize, ah, oh, partner. Let's grab those military boots. This denim shirt doesn't have a hole. Oh, they were a married couple tending to these farms. Oh, that's so sad. You'll look it up? Hell yeah. Off the road from Muldraw was a military base that's pretty massive. The hospital was eerily quiet. Uh, so your friend and you went in, just the two of us. You were grabbing medical supplies since you were also the medic. And before you know it, the little surgery room was filled in two different doorways and you could do nothing. No. Yeah, Sathies, I've been thinking for a long time about doing a big multiplayer server. Um, but I don't want to... Do it. Do I have any more ham? No. Now we're on a race against time. I don't want to do it... Uh... Shit. I'm not, I'm not letting you hang out. I'm killing you right now. Uh, I don't want to do it with mods just because... I like messing around with things uh, sort of as much vanilla as possible, at least in the beginning. Um, if the multiplayer server proves popular and people like it, then absolutely we could talk about uh, doing mods on it. But the first thing that I want to do... Right, Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. Fuck you. The reason why I bring up Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs is because Project Zomboid is the quintessential find water, find shelter, find food... Um, and then what do you do afterwards, right? Um, and so multiplayer, in my mind, is sort of the way to alleviate the what do you do after. Okay. We gotta start making our way back home.
You don't care either way, to be honest, because it's an enjoyable game. I freaking love Project Zomboid. We're gonna drink our orange soda because it does restore some hunger. No, you know what? We're not dire enough. We're peckish, but we're also overweight. So starving yourself is actually not good uh, weight control information. Obviously, your body goes into shock if you starve yourself um, and will actually hold on to your calories and weight more. Uh, but... Um, and, and while Project Zomboid does reflect that to a certain extent, um, there are also like really interesting mechanics just at its core about being peckish or you know just being hungry in general. I I don't want to take this dirt road, right? So far, the journey out here has sucked. So far, we have gotten lucky exactly with the farmhouse and nothing else. We should just go back to where we know. We should stop exploring. Um, infection free zone is what it was called, though it looks more like a city builder type. Interesting. Yeah, I'll have to check it out, Mesphia. Thank you, thank you. Nah, this is literally nothing. The road stops. Ugh, we shouldn't have done this. Uh, somehow the weirdest accidental RP scenarios because people will commit to insane bits, for sure. Uh, in the Last of Us TV show, I always end up feeling like Bill. Um, this is nothing. Why am I coming this way? I might as well be wearing a giant sign that says, please eat me. Okay. Or, I'm a genius. Okay. Damn. This house is not better than our previous house. But damn. Okay. Shit. If we could make it um <laughs> pixie, if we can make it inside this house and do anything to shore it up. This could be, oh my god, there's a little, a little, a chicken coop. Uh, supposedly build 42 has, uh, chickens and other animals. Oh my god. If you've got an axe, we might live out here in the farmhouse. Box of nails! Even better. Holy shit. Oh my god. You've got metal here? Okay. Actually, exploring? Good. Another hammer! Literally what I said we would have preferred to have if we had to reset it. Oh my god. We're not living here. We are, we are leaving. This is not our, this is not our home. Wrench, it's not super useful, but we'll take it. Um, it's our new home. We're not living here. First problem, there are no high fences. I will not live in a place that does not have natural high fences. It's so nice, though. I mean, it's cute. If I was playing multiplayer Zomboid, absolutely. But I'm not. I'm I, I'm a single person. I cannot commit to the defense of this home. It's too much space. It's too wide open. And it's too far away from the rest of civilization. How am I going to work? Uh-oh.
Okay. How am I going to work on my uh, skills that I need to survive? Oh god, it has a radio? If you have the built-in military program, that would be so good. Excuse me, sir. Goodbye, sir. Oh, come on. You can figure out... Don't break the windows on this place. It's so nice. You can figure out a doorway. Don't attack the window. Thank you. Rude, honestly. Windows are so expensive to replace. No key, though. Blonde hair dye. A sheet, which we could use to start shoring up the defenses of this place. Which we're not necessarily doing. I am not committing to this house. How's the zombie apocalypse? It's good to see you, uh, it's good to see you, Blue Hydra. I don't know why I keep doing that with you, Zalo. You have confirmed to me multiple times that you don't particularly care. Uh, we, we were in a real sticky wicket, but we might be coming out of it okay. Uh-oh. I definitely heard a zombie groan in there. Yep. I'm so sorry, man. This was probably your house, and I feel very bad about it, but also... Ooh, a bunch of VHSs. Oh, this is so good. Okay, vacation home. Yeah, exactly. Um, I will be right back. I need to use the restroom. Uh, don't let me die. I'll be back in 10 seconds. Okay, sorry, I'm back. It would probably have been better if I uh, didn't pause the game, because then there would have been stakes, but also, absolutely not. I don't know, I just like Project Zomboid too much. Which... A part of why I like it so much is that it is almost a simulator in some aspects. Um, but I am glad that there is no need to use the restroom in it, hey? Just in time for the stair chair stream. Hell yeah. Uh, I can't believe, President, you would have done this. You could have run ads. I should have run ads. I totally forgot about it. And thank you back for the withles. Yeah, okay, sorry, we're back. Uh, tarp and rope. The rope could be fun. Dog Goblin 3. Dog Goblin back to the roots. This room is unfortunately garbage. Do you have... Oh, no battery. 
No, you don't have freaking the emergency broadcast radio programmed in. Is this just a separate sink area? Y'all just out here with two sinks? I'll take a big flashlight, actually. Sure, okay. Now, upstairs is going to be scary. Utility room or mud room, yeah. Because any one, any one of these rooms could have a bunch of zombies inside of it, right? Okay, bathroom. I'm not hoping for a gun. Because every time we have used a gun, it has been to our insane detriment. But also... Wow, no guns. There you go. Uh, but yeah, it's good to see you, Blue Hydra and uh, Red Rebecca. Hey, hey, hey. Oh yeah, we need to check the refrigerator. So the house, it appears, is safe. Now the good news is, is that even barring anything else, this has actually been a worthwhile endeavor because on the stove is this cooking pot. Cooking pot is full of rotten, uncooked soup. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour that on the ground. But we are going to keep the pot because the pot is actually uh, your like emergency survival alternative to, oh, we're over encumbered. Uh, the pot is actually your sort of emergency alternative to um, shit, how much are we over by? Uh, a pound. Yikes. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. It might in part be because we're hungry. Um, Jesus Christ. I guess we're going to throw some shrimp in the oven. Um, sorry, what was I what was I trying to say? Empty cooking pots. Empty cooking pots are sort of your way of getting water uh, even when you are uh, in a bad way, even if you don't have carpentry. So the cooking pots, A+. Plus. Can you pot someone over the head? For the cooking pots, yes. With the... Nope, that's just a lie. With the saucepans, yes. With the cooking pots, no. Um, frying pans and stuff are actually hilariously good weapons when you don't have a better weapon. We do have a crossbar, a cross, a crowbar, however, so. Yeah, let's eat this whole shrimp. Is that enough? Is that gonna set us back? Mmm, it's not quite enough. But we really don't have any other options right now. So I'm gonna say, let's go. This place... Damn it. Should we spend time here? Should we try to make this a forever home?
It's too... There is a TV, yes. Come on, buddy. Figure it out. Seriously? I'm not coming in there. It is too dark and spooky. Here we go. If we had an axe, I would say I'd try to make it work. But without an axe, we would only have the furniture inside of here to dismantle to level up carpentry. And that's not a lot of furniture, actually. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and mark this as a nice place, right? Again, very secluded. Very unlikely that uh, we'd end up in a bad way. But unlikely is not no. What if zombie horse? Uh, I would very sadly put it down. Fairly close to our current base. Yeah, I'm actually surprised at how close it is. The, the problem is the lack of high walls and the lack of carpentry. Um, if it, this place had any walls to break it up, that'd be amazing. If we had carpentry already at a high enough level, that'd be amazing. Um... If we had a wood axe. But as it currently stands, we're doing much better than we were. Now time for us to go back to our actual main base. And discover... That it is covered in zombies. God, is there no path through these trees? No, it's just trees everywhere. Okay. I'm gonna be a little reckless here and uncrouch. Crouching does our stealth. Stealth means the chances of zombies seeing us goes down. I'm going to operate under the assumption that if there were zombies here, there's gonna be far and few of them between, comparatively. See, yonder was great. The empty cooking pots were helpful. Oh, it's already 5 p.m. Shit. Sorry, I heard, heard a woodpecker and was worried that it was, um... The helicopter event. Yeah, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and go back inside the farmhouse. Again, if I was playing multiplayer, would I, would I say absolutely let's shore up farmhouse? Yes. For one person, this is just too much open space. I'm sorry, Wirebone. A zombie horse? Absolutely unacceptable. I would mess around with a skeleton horse. Because skeletons don't necessarily need to eat your flesh. 
Oh no, there's no TV here. Damn. I thought there was a TV, but I guess that was just wishful thinking. First aid, book one. We already have that. You got a cowboy hat, so you need a horse. All right. All right, wise guy. Man, the only options here are milk, lard, or beer bottle. I'm not doing any of those if I can avoid it. I don't want to crack into the canned food, though. Ah. I guess let's drink a whole carton of milk like a psychopath. And then let's go upstairs and sleep. Gonna be so bloated. It's fine. Game doesn't even process it. We will go ahead and level up some carpentry while we're here, though. If we do choose to make this a forever home, right? We can just go ahead and start boarding some places up. We've already got a box of nails. So we have plenty of nails. Yeah. And hey, Doku, I don't know how to pronounce what you're writing, but thank you. Oh no, we're instantly hungry. <sighs> we could commit to eating a thing of canned food. <sighs> but canned food is going to be a precious commodity right quick. Uh... No. No, you know what? We're going to try to sleep it off. When we wake up in the morning, we will be extremely hungry. When we wake up extremely hungry, we'll go ahead and pop open a thing of canned food, so that way we'll only be a little bit hungry. Wow. 437% and not a single usable item, hey? All right. Let's throw that saw back into our bag, so that way we're not encumbered. Let's go ahead and put the trauma bag down. Actually, you know what? No. Let's just go to sleep. I'm very nervous. There was a weird noise in the middle of the night. It looks like it's fine out there, but I don't want to risk it. So we're going to go ahead and just keep dismantling things to work on carpentry. Is there anybody who has played this game out here? Do you have an opinion between magazined pistols versus revolvers? Because I'm not going to say I have an instinctive, wow, we just keep getting L's. 
I'm not going to say I have an instinctive desire to uh, have a revolver right now as a cowboy. But I am going to say that I think the revolver allows you to reload directly into it, whereas the um, magazine pistols, you need to reload into the magazine and then change it out. So, yeah. We got a cowboy hat. The six shooter is mandatory. Uh, I used to, back when I was doing a friend's show, Unrestricted Lorefare. Unrestricted Lorefare is still going. Um, I'm just no longer a part of the show. Uh, I used to play a character called Seymour Valentine. And it was the only, it was my one trick. But, uh, you know what? I loved I loved Seven Shot Valentine. I listened to a bunch of Red Dead Redemption videos, or it was like, Boy, oh god, it's been so long. I'm sure I can't do it, right? Boy, you owe me money, boy. Like that, that line, I would say that line over and over again to try and like do some sort of cowboy affectation. Oh, we actually got something off of this. Screws? I don't know what I need screws for, but I'll take it, I guess. Well, this has been a series of L's. We will take the painkillers for working out. What? The painkillers knock me over weight encumbrance limit? No. Okay, there we go. We're peckish. Oh, fuck off. Do you guys hear that? That's... I don't know if you guys can hear the whirring. God, I can't believe we're here during the helicopter event. Uh... Very stressed out. Uh, Tayo, turn down mic. Is the mic too loud uh, on the other side, or is it that it's specifically not mixed right with the game? Guess we disassemble everything, yeah. Time to put the farm to the test. There's no test right now. Uh, we wait for the helicopter to fly past. Are we bored? Of course we're getting bored. Why wouldn't we be getting bored right now? <sighs> Let's play the word search magazine. Yeah. Um, uh, would somebody mind checking over on the YouTube side? Because the YouTube simulcast is unfortunately uh, getting a different audio feed than Twitch's. Would somebody mind going over there and checking out uh, the audio levels for me? Thank you, Mesphia.
It sounds the same here as Twitch for you? Okay. Yeah, I apologize, Tayo. Um, if the mic is slightly too high, uh, I can mess around with it, but I don't normally do that during stream. Let's go ahead and open this can of spaghetti bolognese. Let's go ahead and eat half of this can of spaghetti bolognese. So the idea around the helicopter event is that if the helicopter sees you outside in the world, the helicopter will like fly over you. I assume, yeah, water's turned off here as well. Of course it is. Um, and if the helicopter does that, it'll like continue to follow you. So if you go back to a safe house, the helicopter will fly over your safe house. If you run around town, the helicopter will follow you around town. And because the helicopter is making a tremendous amount of noise, um, you will, uh, you will get a bunch of zombies following after you. Uh, this is one of the ways to get a horde. So you want to stay as safe as possible during this time and not get seen by the helicopter. So yeah. Generally, I'm much louder than the games I play, but you figured it was intentional. How much louder? Like, can you still hear the music and the sound effects when I'm talking? You do have a little of that, I have something in my ears, so I'm speaking up quality. Interesting. We've definitely had this conversation before about um, how loud I am. If I'm too loud, The wax and carpentry I hear just fine. Mesphia, can you hit us with a different one? If I'm too loud, I'm willing to, uh, yeah, to modify that. Or again, turn up the game. Uh, which are we worse at right now? We're worse at fitness. So let's go ahead and do an exercise that does fitness. No, Mesphia, you don't get to hit us with a shrug. You sent a message that says the wax and and carpentry. Oh, oh, you mean the wax sound effects and carpentry you hear just fine. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I was trying to process that sentence so hard. Gotcha, okay. Um, you know, the whack when you smack zombies, okay. Let's turn the music up some. We can try this. Uh, we were going to exercise. Squats do fitness. Sit-ups and squats. Squats reduce movement speed. I'm okay with reducing movement speed, I think. Uh, we also grabbed the painkillers, so that way 
we can take them uh, when it pops up, but yeah. Said it so coquettishly that you thought you had said something suggestive. No, I just absolutely could not parse what you were saying. You know what's funny is I never... I'm not, I'm not gonna say that. That's rude. Say it. Well, my brother-in-law is an audio engineer, right? And so he helped me adjust the audio settings. But ever since adjusting the audio settings, I've gotten so many complaints about audio, and I feel like we just never had complaints about it before. And that's so wacky wild to me. Yeah, I don't know myself either. But we did get some usable materials here. So that's where we're going to start. is barricading up this house. Now I'm hoping that we're gonna have nails left over for when we get home, but yeah. Well, I did just say that I was hoping we would get nails, but uh, or have nails for home, but I, I do also need planks, please. We need some planks if you don't mind. Can you afford to carry them? No, we're gonna fortify, we're gonna fortify the farmhouse.
Sorry for not saying anything right now. Again, I'm like listening for the helicopter. Oh shit, well, we're getting as many nails as we're getting, uh, planks. If the helicopter event is happening right now, the helicopter has not sighted us and is not outside of our house, which is good. I do wish I was at home with TV time. Nails, damn it. But this isn't bad. There was a spare battery. Surprised there isn't a radio time too. The radio does play information and it is kind of fun to piece it all together. But uh... It's definitely... Less... Of a big deal than it is um, TV for skills. You found videos, right? We found tapes. But we have no way to uh, play the tapes, Pixie. And the setting for this game is 1994. So, you know, Blockbuster Video is still around. We shouldn't try to pick up this box. That would be silly. God, I wish we found a radio that had the emergency frequency and time last time. Because I can't tell if I'm making a mountain out of a molehill. Somebody got the TV and the video player and the divorce. Oh my god, Pixie, I see what you mean now. Oh my god, yeah. Didn't even process that's what you meant the first time. Our character is bored, in danger of becoming unhappy, we're hungry. <sighs> Do you think we should risk it? I never risk it. I always play it safe. Because here's the thing, if we pop out... Well, okay, no, that's not true. If we pop out and we do proc the helicopter... We could just run back to the farmhouse. Because there are not a lot of zombies in this area, right?
You still have a box of videotapes and some cassettes lying around? Hell yeah. We still haven't leveled up carpentry to level three. Ugh, oh, we're in for a rough time, y'all. Is this also a friendship only run? Uh, if I had the ability to make it a friendship only run, I would. But unfortunately, magazine, sure. Unfortunately, uh, there are no people to smooch in this. Let them kiss. I ain't gonna let the zombies kiss. What if they make a zombie baby? The ethical quandary. Uh, we are going to read this magazine to be less bored. And of course, when you read a magazine, we all know that it gets instantly destroyed. So that magazine is gone now. So we're just getting bored. I don't know how long the helicopter event is for, I'll be honest, y'all. Take some canned tomatoes. Can't believe we're eating canned food. But canned food is for emergencies and we are kind of living in emergency town. At least until this day is over. I'm gonna give it a whole day because I thought I heard the helicopter. And then we'll go out and do things tomorrow. So much for reduce, reuse, recycle. Jeez, right? How much are the tomatoes? They're 12. Let's go ahead and just eat a little bit to cut off the edge of it. Hey, hey, Baylights. It's good to see you. Only certain magazines get wrecked while reading them. Pixie. And let's go ahead and I guess do squats again, right? Uh, do I want to know uh, how long the helicopter event is for? Kind of, but ugh. keep doing squats and you'll have the best ass in the zombie apocalypse. You implying that we don't already, Wirebone? Ad hell, you wanted to see the mattress can tomatoes. I'm sorry, Rai. I don't know why you're in ad hell. Um, there shouldn't be any pre-roll right now. Hard to say. Well, all right. Feels like that's a vote uh, out of confidence for my incredible zombie ass. But you know.
We're getting a little tired. I don't know what else there is to do in this house, though. Yeah, you know what, Pixie? Would you mind terribly uh, telling us how long the helicopter event might last for? You like my little hat? Thanks. It's me, your sweet boy, Seymour Valentine. Helicopter can arrive on day uh, six to nine. We have been alive for seven days, so that tracks. From 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Once the helicopter arrives, it'll attempt to find a player for one to four hours. On default settings, the helicopter will only come on one day. However, it can come more than once a day. Hmm. All right, here's what that reads to me. And thank you, thank you, Pixie. I appreciate you finding it. Um, here's what this says to me. We're gonna go ahead and continue hiding here like a little floor gremlin. Um, and tomorrow we'll commit to it. We'll do some more squats though. Yay, for floor gremlin time. What can I say? We do a little bit of sitting on the floor in this household. Can y'all hear that? You don't hear that? This is going to be bad for audio. No. Very much not friend, Rai. In-house? In-house should be safe. The helicopter should not know that we're here. But it sure sounds like it does, huh? Joke's on you, they have infrared. God, I hope not. The helicopter is very bad, Nyx. If the helicopter spots you, it'll f just keep flying overhead and get a swarm of zombies around you. So they kill people on porpoise? Oh my god, Pixie, is that true? Okay, the helicopter is gone. At minimum, we're gonna reduce all of these sounds down to here. Not a clue, but it's a working narrative. You know what, Pixie? I agree. That is incredibly smart. 
Let's do some more squats. All of that squatting has given us 846 out of 18,000 experience needed for the next level of fitness. Golly gee. God, I'm glad, I'm glad we did not commit to going out during the day, huh? Also, can you guys hear me just fine at this volume? I'm whispering right now. Does it not sound like I'm whispering? It sounds normal. Sounds like you're just talking softly. Oh, I suppose that's fair. I am talking more softly than I normally do. Sounds like I'm telling you a sexy secret. Sexy secret number one. Burger King foot lettuce. Not the foot lettuce. I mean, we just, we just need to go to sleep, right? Oh no, we're feeling a little sad. It's okay, we can drink orange soda. And the orange soda makes us less sad. So we will go get Oh fuck. I mean, do we just commit to sleeping at 5.20 p.m.? We're a little sad. Drink a little bit more orange soda. I think we just commit to falling asleep. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Depression nap, yeah. Um... Do you guys hear that high-pitched beeping sound? 
What is that? Uh, have I ever had Ku, which is like Japanese high C, want it right now? I've never heard of that before, Wirebound. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's bad. Oh, this is very bad. Well... It's been nice knowing you folks. The farmhouse was a terrible idea. I don't know that I'm willing to fight to defend this house. I can't believe we survived the helicopter event only to get zombie swarmed anyways. I don't know how many boys are down there. We're hungry, we're bored, we're feeling a little sad, we're carrying too much stuff. That is, that is not one zombie's worth of hitting the door downstairs. Carrying too much stuff? No. How dare you. I want it to be even slightly brighter outside. It is so dark. I've got to be real with y'all. I am very stressed out. I have never been in this situation before. In this game. I have either always done the helicopter event perfectly, or I have died. I have never before been in this situation. Uh, they will not get bored, Nexus. They will continue to hit the door until the door breaks or until something else attracts their attention. This 
Is it bright enough out yet? It's better. What was beeping? I don't know. I desperately wish I knew I did. Okay, we gotta commit. Look at all those boys out there. I'm worried we're about to drop down onto a horde of zombies. But I mean, literally, what other choice do we have? We can't live up here. Okay, we go. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Well, we're fucked. We can't go out this window. That was a lot of build-up for nothing. We pray they didn't make it upstairs yet. So they're definitely inside the house. Do they appear to be wandering off? Some of them did, yeah. I don't know. This is tough. Y'all, the farmhouse was a terrible idea. I can't believe I listened to y'all. I listened to y'all about the motel. The motel was a terrible idea. Please let me down. Yep, and then we go. And then we go so fast and so far. And we never come back here. Did they hear? Ah, oh, Jesus. No, come on. Come on. I hate the hitbox sometimes in this game. Okay, they didn't hear. We go. Okay, there's a couple of lads down over there that I'm not the world's biggest fan of.
Okay. We keep going. We're hungry. We are getting a tad weepy. We need some excitement or human contact. We're very bored, which is hilarious because our life is in danger. You get it. Okay, we've escaped the farmhouse. Uh, just another life-ending event. Snore. I know, I know. Uh, the Tad Weepy is another thing that is that gets direct benefit from... Uh... Uh, from multiplayer, is that if you do... If you're playing in multiplayer, just being around another person is enough to stop you from becoming uh, depressed sometimes. Um, the multiplayer in this game is very good. Just like IRL, exactly Wirebound. We might have more orange soda at home. I genuinely do not know. I don't remember what we have at home. Home is a mythical place to me now. Here's the other thing. Our home might not be safe, right? Like, we weren't there. We don't know uh, how it held up. We're a little tired, so we're going to take some vitamins, because vitamins do does give us back some fatigue. I'm so stressed, y'all. The box of nails is huge if we get to use it. Oh shit, the vitamins actually removed our fatigue. That's crazy. Honey, I need you to like, not attract anybody else when I kill you, okay? Although the implication of the, um,
microphone options in the settings is that uh, you can have proximity chat in this game, which is always fun. We love a little bit of prox chat. Oh, shit. God damn it. God, disastrous helicopter. We haven't gotten to have TV time because freaking farmhouse. I don't know how safe this path actually is. There could be hordes of zombies right around the corner. Ooh, a long dress. An annotated map. God, if we could get a map of Muldra, I would be deeply appreciative. Because apparently I don't know this city like I thought I knew this city. Which, like, it's not 1994. We could just pull up the game maps, but I would feel bad about that. I'm going to take some more vitamins. They've been helping so far. You grab a snack, what would you miss? The farmhouse was compromised. We had to leave. So the vacation home is ruined. Um... Yeah, sorry. The farmhouse is destroyed. Even if we wanted to go back there, which I'm not committing to that. Uh... We would have to do a lot of work to make it worthwhile. So we're trying to go back to the original home base. Excuse me, ma'am. I want to go home. Is that okay with you? Can I go home? I'm so hungry. Just like in the real world. Oh, fuck off. I thought that tree was a zombie and it made me very unhappy. God, farmhouse was the worst. Why did I listen to you guys? Leather jacket, no holes. We actually can't afford to carry that. I don't even know why I'm looking at bodies right now. We need to get back to our house yesterday. We're high exertion. We don't have any food, I don't think, on us. More vitamins, soap, that's not food. A bunch of tools, yeah, okay. We're still incredibly depressed, which, yeah, for real. Um, but yeah.
Okay, not happy about that horde down there. God, that helicopter event ruined us. We just need to eat something is the other thing. Let's see if we can sneak past these boys. I don't want to fight them if we can avoid it. Well, I've immediately attracted one of their attention, so obviously Operation Sneak Past is off to a rip-roaring start. We have so many debuffs right now. we'll be able to actually sneak past them pretty easy. I mean, okay, maybe that one is onto us. Fuck off. I just want to go home. Oh, we're so close, and yet we might as well be miles away. Check them for jerky. None of them had jerky. We gotta take some more vitamins to try and deal with our fatigue. Because fatigue is gonna be the other killer here. Okay. What did this jerk off have on him? Nothing. Okay, we're gonna try and move past. Hey, hey, Stan. Sorry, we are playing a zombie game that is very stressful right now. We saw a zombie down here, yep. Fuck off. We should just be going about this methodically, but I just want to get back to the home base. Oh, we're gonna have so many lads on our ass. Is home base even safe? There's a couple of boys outside of it, not some fans of that. But it looks like inside is comparatively okay. They're actually breaking down the log fence, which is fine. Nope, okay, some are in. Ooh, at least three are in. This is not good. Yep, this might be game over. And here's the reason why I don't know for sure. We don't know how many more are in here, and we don't know how many are flanking around us. Yep, we're fucked. Nope, that's game. Oh, no! Oh! Well, welcome in, Stan. I can't believe we made it out of your disastrous farmhouse. We should have just stayed at home. We should have just stayed at home. Ugh. Farmhouse was bad, Mesfia. It had too many windows, it was not secure. Our actual house was safe because of the high fence. The reason why there is a promised land. Is that another for the death counter? Presna, why did you show up just to spite me like this? This is how you felt entering the dating pool. Nothing but zombies and you may as well stay home. Stan! All right. 
We're not going to try and do anything else persistent in this world because there's going to be way too many things stacked against us, so we're going to make a new world. Um, but uh, bits aside, Stan, I'm sorry to hear that. I know, I know there's been uh, difficulties, for lack of a better phrase. Um, but I do, you know, obviously wish you luck. Uh, we're going to go back on Survivor, of course. We're not going to do any mods. We're going to do the standard world, and we're going to start in Malt Draw. And one of these days, we are going to start in the good place. All right, Pixie. Uh, yeah, I have cat's eyes. I wonder why our vision has been so bad at night. Bizarre. No, oh, well. Because it's nighttime? Good. All right, wise guy. You didn't mean to be late. <laughs> well, no worries, Battle Benoit. Welcome in. Uh, our really good run got ruined because Mesphia and Presna wanted a farmhouse. So, uh, am I blaming it on them when it's entirely not their fault? Yes. Yes, I am. God, I just... I just want to make it work. This is still not where we need to be. Cook show, how dare you. All right, back into the grind, kiddos. Gun case, hilarious, sure. Uh, and I am, I am glad, I am glad you're doing uh, better, Stan. Uh, better than ever is always, is always good in my book. How dare you not like our hot chocolate farm and farmhouse? All right. Mechanics is garbage. We already have genes, right? Yeah. Fresh tomatoes, fresh corn. Kitchen knife is not my favorite. Frying pan, baby. Adhesive bandages, sure, fine. I think this is actually surprisingly close to where we want to be. Give me an axe. I'll take a box of uh, nails and a box of screws. Give me an axe. Ooh. Ooh, we will take... Uh, metal pipes. Metal pipes are better for... Um, uh, metal bars are better for uh, putting bars over windows. They're better barricades. Can you fill the bath for when they turn the water off? You cannot at this time. Would be very smart, but absolutely not on the car not in the cards. It's, uh, it's what you do to prepare for hurricanes as well, actually. Ooh, this guy's got a cleaver in him. We will take that cleaver, thank you.
Come on, guy. I don't have time for you. We are going to wear your denim shirt, though. Thank you. Now we can cut the ham. Exactly. You had a magazine on you? Sorry, honey. You're not finishing that magazine. Oh, God! Man, starting in a room that had two crowbars is insane. Because crowbars have so much more reach. Ugh. I'm so sad we wasted that run. Even the starting house was nicer than this place. Ah! I shouldn't have gone to that stupid farmhouse. TV time in an hour. You should have gone to the promised land. I, here's the thing. I don't know where it is in this one. I think this spawn is actually very close to it. Bastards. Oh, fuck off. Love your cut, though. Who's your stylist? We always wear a necklace with a crucifix because we always play a paladin. Back to our house for TV time? Surely not. This man drank himself to death? Sure. Honestly, bud, I'd do the same goddamn thing. In in zombie apocalypse, not in the real world, to be clear. Let's switch you to life and live in so we can maybe get some carpentry. Excuse me, sir. I uh, distinctly remember someone with absolutely no prompting repeatedly say I shouldn't go this way while continuing to go that way. You're right. I can't believe you did that to me, Mesphia. If this radio as it has the emergency broadcast. Oh, we are so in it to win it this time, gang. And we are watching the first episode of Woodcraft. Fucking easy. We're playing on easy mode, baby. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, Pixie. We're about to get level one carpentry. It's day one. Easiest game I've ever played in my life. Project Zomboid is a baby game for baby gamers.
baby game for babies. That's what I'm saying, Savada. But I'm just a baby. Should have thought of that before you, uh... I don't know where I was going to finish that sentence, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what you should have thought of that before, but you should have thought of that before something. Ooh, let's wear this sweater vest. It will actually give us protection against scratches. And also, I actually just like sweater vests, which should shock no one. Let's check this car. Adhesive tape could be good, but we are actually encumbered. Oh my god. This car is incredible for farming. Okay. I don't know why that man had the best car full of farming equipment. But, um... We need to remember this is here. Uh... Lucky. For a, a clover for Lucky. That was incredible. I mean, that's not going to be relevant until late game, but insane. I'm a little nerd for liking a sweater vest. How dare you? Uh, the tote bag is not useful encumbrance assistance. I regret to inform you. I know. I know. It, it doesn't uh, apply to real-world logic, that, but uh, unfortunately, it is true. Lads. Very disrespectful. That ambulance might have a trauma bag. And if it does have a trauma bag, that'd be very good. Oh, can I not open that door? Sure, fine. Is that house even worth it? Probably not, right? Oh, hello. What kind of cute outfit you're wearing. And by kind of cute, I mean kind of an outfit. Because I, because I hit him, because I, I hit him with the, the pipe. Because I... Do you get it? It's an owl bit. You get it. <laughs> I kind of wish it was a sweater vest. Listen. Well, the two of you guys have the same haircut. Same stylus? Okay, let's see if we can't find some of those trauma bags, because those qualify as duffel bags, and that'll really help with our encumbrance. Oh my god! Fuck it. We ball. What are you gonna do? Bite me? Shit, okay, I did get all of them. Yeah, but you do have trauma bags, so you know what? It, this is worth it, actually. How many of you are there? Oh, you have got just a natural duffel bag on your back. Sure. This is um starting to get bad, but it's fine. I'm a professional. Hmm. I'm very stressed out. Come on, bud. Don't do me like this. Nice, that's one. That's two. Oh, come on. Nice, that's four. This is the last boy. And then we can get to that wambulance. Fan fucking tastic. What's in your duffel bag? A water bottle? Don't even care. We don't even need to go to the ambulance, but we're gonna. 
I am going to put on this clip-on tie. Because what's the point of wearing a sweater vest? If you're not wearing a clip-on tie. You know what I'm saying? Business, business, business. Exactly. Okay, now... Oh god, how many of you are there down there? Fucking... Pardon my language. Actually, I don't care. Hold on. Uh... There's an ambulance there. Well, I'll remember to come back later. I won't. Only thing better is a bow tie. We actually found last playthrough, which was bizarre, um, an actual proper tie. I've never seen a proper tie before. I've only ever seen clip-ons. So that was very funny to me. Uh, and let's go ahead and eat this tomato. I am so sure that we are close to the promised land. Did we check if this car has a key in it? No, of course it doesn't. That would be way too lucky. But it does look like a nice car. Please don't be alarmed. Come on, don't do it. Don't invest in home security. Fantastic, I appreciate that about you. Ooh, there are quite a few friends over there. Oh my god, there were quite a few friends indeed. Wow, uh, I don't know where I got you from, lady, but you know what? Welcome. I have not checked the condition of this pipe. I do not know how much longer it has in it. Uh-oh. Chekhov's pipe? Annotated map, lovely. Painkillers, we're going to be exercising. Antidepressants, need those. Another annotated map, don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and put this box of nails and screws in our duffel bag. I know, this is honestly our best start so far. Which is kind of insane. Uh, TV time is fast approaching. And we've only made it a couple of houses down. But if we make it to the promised land and we're exhausted, right? That's not doing anybody any good. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I mean, that hammer's not doing great, but like, are you, is that a joke? Military boots, duct tape, holy shit, a screwdriver? That's what we were missing last time? Uh, I'll take the hand torch. It's not terribly useful to us, but um, we already have a saw, right? This is this is insane. Why did we start so much better this time? Actually, we are going to take all of these pens because we already have a pencil, right? 
Yeah, we already have a pencil. Sweet mother of God. Hey, hey, Sharp. Did this place have a TV? It did not. This is insane. Uh, we're gonna pop back up a house in a second here. Hello there, the angel from my nightmares. I cannot something, I cannot, don't remember the rest of the Blink-182 songs. God, I get a Muldraw map when I know where I actually am. How freaking dare you? What? Nix, I'm not a real scene kid. It's all a lie. Okay, that window can't be opened. There's a zombie in there working his way out. But yeah. I just wanted to have long bangs that covered my eyebrow. Like that covered my eyes. You get it. Hoodie, scratch defense, a jacket that's bloody is better than no jacket at all. I'd prefer a leather jacket, obviously, but... You've been misled, sorry. What was, what was it that tipped you off? Was it the sweater vest comment? Oh, uh, wait, did TV time happen? No, it's 520. We've got time. TV! TV time! It was you telling me I lied. I'm sorry. You're so right. You forgot to switch your dog's seasonal treats? We'll go over there and get that. Carpentry. Give me a carpentry book. Carpentry 3 is not what I'm looking for, but I'll take it. Who's Molly Brown? Sure, whatever. Electrician Volume 1. We should not be taking these books right now. They're not helpful to us. You got an ad? Oh no! Elder Scrolls Online, I gotta go. I have to play this right now. Well, enjoy. I like to imagine that it's not even a show that's on. You just wait until the same time to play a tap tape so there's a schedule still. That is actually very fun. I do not hate that interpretation. You had 10 ads. I'm so sorry. We're supposed to not have ads for like an hour. And something about Civil War, oh my god. We'll go ahead and read Lane's Auto Manual Commercial Models. I'm not terribly sure that this is going to be helpful, but yeah. A Royale with cheese. Okay, we got TV time done.
Oh, well, you see, once you invest in the stock market, it's guaranteed money. Guaranteed. I'm sorry, Nyx. I appreciate you watching through all of it, though. Okay, six o'clock popped around. <sighs> do we keep going towards the promised land? I think we do. Even if we can't get inside, just confirmation that I'm not insane. Hello, sir. Welcome back, Nyx. I'm very sorry about that hassle. And I appreciate you hanging out for all of the ads. Because that does give me an itty bitty little bit of ad revenue. And more importantly, if I don't run them, I just won't get the ad revenue that happens from it. A gold wristwatch? Hell yeah. What an upgrade. Are you here? You're not here. Oh, you're inside in the bathroom, I see. Hmm, your house is very dark. Which I would appreciate more. Oh my god, well y'all having a stew party? Okay. How many of you were in there? Freaking four bowls of stew? Just letting those bowls of stew hang loose? I'm sorry for judging your stew party, but geez louise, bud. We'll grab that suitcase, not because it's actually useful, but for fun office-based RP later. I think I'm actually gonna eat those those that stew. Of course you'd hang out for ads. I appreciate that. Fresh bowls of soup uncooked? Oh, it wasn't even a stew party. It was stew and also soup. Unrelated, but incredible. God, this is an insane amount of food, actually. This is, a, this is literally an insane amount of food. I'm going to throw all of these inside this fridge and hope that it keeps it for a bit. Because, like, that's crazy. That's bonkers. This pot of stew is going to turn into um, just a cooking pot that we can use to get water later. And it is now... Oh, the gold wristwatch doesn't give you weather indicators or anything, because it's just a stupid gold wristwatch. Hold on, I want my red digital witch wristwatch back. How dare you? can't believe you've done this, dumb gold watch. I don't need you. Uh, it is 8 p.m. Our character is not tired yet? Uh-oh. When we level up sneaking, that's because there is somebody nearby who should be able to hear us. So that's not a good sign. Hilariously, level up, leveling up sneaking is an indicator that you have snuck past someone. Ah, there's our sleepy. There's our sleepy EP.
Who did we sneak past? I know. Raw, uncooked soup. It's referring to the ingredients inside of the soup, Nyx. Um, but also, cooking in Zomboid does leave some to be desired. It's not wrong. Okay. Leveled Sneaking and Lightfoot. Not awesome. But not the worst. God, if we die... I am going to be a little unhappy. This is an incredibly loaded start. Like, everything is in our favor. Like, an ins obscene number of things. A freshly cooked pork chop? An insane number of things are in our favor right now. Just incredible. I'm going to have that tomorrow morning. What a little treat. Uh, all right, let's sleep. Workshop? Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, normally ready to go food like that is the exception to the rule. And Pixie, thank you so much for gifting that tier one sub to Nyx. Um, I don't know why my alert didn't go off there, but I appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and read this map. Louisville, we've literally never once gotten to, excuse me, gotten to Louisville, so that's a very funny joke. Rosewood. Food here. Don't rush in. Remember what happened to Mr. Duncan. Not Mr. Duncan. Zombies will have migrated in the night, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and wash ourselves, because we won't be able to later. Let's go ahead and wash all of our clothing. Nobody deserves that many ads. Mr. Duncan just wanted to go out for donuts. I was thinking Duncan Jones of the Yogg's cast Ender Friend, but a very, a very salient comparison as well. Uh, let's go cook up that pork chop. Let's go heat it up. Pork chop in the oven. We can grab first aid. We can't grab first aid. I don't need a formal shirt right now. We'll be able to find them later if we want to play office RP. Did I remember the radio? Yes, we do have the radio with us, Pixie. But if people want to be my absolute best friend, can you guys remember that the emergency frequency is 99.2? Thank you. Doesn't look like there was too much zombie migration. Is it not randomized each run? It should be randomized each run. Last time, last time I do we did not know what the emergency frequency was, which is why the helicopter caught us off guard. Okay, there's some boys down there. Uh, each world, not each character. I believe. Oh, morning TV time! Oh, Mesphia, you hero! 
Oh, I don't know, even know what show it's going to be. Oh, curse my forgetfulness. Let's hope there's some ads at the top. We just made it in time, and there's an advert about kitten knives. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and start reading First Aid Volume 1. No, it's the cooking show. Mesfia, why did you remind me about the cooking show? Better pork chops. Actually, you know what? That's fair. Okay. Slap the first aid kit back in our duffel bag. Let's turn off the TV because this house is actually a good sort of secondary base because that bedroom is all by itself. Better stews. Fair. We get to learn to cook more. Y'all, I can't be out here making fun of Mesfia if you tell me how excited you are for cooking. Also, let's check this metal pipe's condition. Oh, this metal pipe is doing fine. Damn, that door is definitely locked. These boys are coming for my ass. Not literally my ass, but you get it. Okay, this one is by themselves, so I can push them down. Because again, even though our pipe is doing fine on condition, Fire Emblem told me whenever you can save weapon durability, you do. Gentlemen, please relax. Listen. Right, last one coming over. Do you want to eat depressing eggs all the time? Higher cooking would not have made the eggs less depressing. It just would have taught us a new... Uh, Theoretical recipe. I can't believe we haven't found a leather jacket yet this whole time. You're just happy for pork chop. There. Who thinks eggs are depressing? This game thinks eggs are depressing. Although, so it was funny. If you put two, if you put four eggs in a frying pan, that was depressing eggs. But if you Uh, put four eggs in a roasting pan, it was an egg roast, and that was fine. Pot of soup goes in the fridge. We'll come back for you later. Mechanics Volume 1. Fine. We're never going to get far enough along that we need mechanics. This neighborhood has not been bad at all. I know we're just playing on Survivor, but still. Jelly soy eggs. I don't know that I've ever had that. What are jelly soy eggs? Oh boy. Hello there. The zombies from my nightmare. I do not remember the lyrics even though Pixie posted them. Classic wristwatch with black strap. Classy, 
It doesn't give us useful information. You've had eggs. You've had soy eggs, right? Are soy eggs just eggs with soy sauce? Because that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, we're a little hungry again, huh? Hey. Black wristwatch, which is classier than red, but that's not helpful in this exact moment. Okay. There were some boys over here. And there's one boy over here. Oh, and there's some boys over there. All right. Let's get... No, oh, no. We've got both of them. Eggs marinated in soy and a number of other things. Yeah, okay. I mean, I like eggs. Um, I can make the perfect sunny side up. Not to brag. Uh, come on. Please die. Thank you. Oh my god, hitbox. But yeah. Looking for a wipe, I see. How dare you. You do need a wife, Mesphia? I'll let you know if we find any on the market. Stan had some unkind things to say about the dating pool, but... I think that's just bad luck. You prefer over easy. Oh, is there a curtain on this one? Interesting. Um, less chance of dripping yolk <laughs> while eat, still getting some runny. I My favorite is poached. Um, and it's unfortunate that my favorite is poached. Because I will go to a restaurant order their poached eggs, and then complain about the quality of their poached eggs, which is a little rude of me, because the reason why I'm not uh, making poached eggs at home is because I know it's hard to do. Wow, this house is impossible to get into. Do I want to deal with those lads right now? No, I want to make my way to the promised land. This pork chop needs to be reheated. We'll try and get in over here. So you can see the zombie that I'm standing on is um, struggling slightly. That's to represent the fact that they cannot get up while you're standing on them. Which is fun until crawlers happen. And also, again, I've complained about the hitboxes multiple times. Sometimes, even though you're standing on them, they'll just flip over and start crawling and instantly get you. Which is, like, not my favorite. Yeah, we are actually really close to the promised land. The Barbie below you does a good eggs benedict if you can get your ass down for breakfast. Oh, a good eggs benedict. My kingdom for a good eggs benedict. Well, that was easy. Empty beer bottles, empty beer cans, actual beer cans, chips. Another value tech radio. We don't need it this time, though. TV isn't for a little bit, but we are going to heat up our pork chop. Did I remember to turn off the stove above? 
Because if I did not, one of the houses that are good can burn down. But I'm not going to go back and check every single house to verify whether or not it is, in fact, uh... The oven is, in fact, turned off. Uh, which, you know what, maybe that says poor things about me, but, um... I can't be bothered, I'm sorry. Eggs Benedict is the best, unless, of course, you can get breakfast poutine. I still haven't had poutine. Y'all remember that time that I was flying to the West Coast and thought that I was going to Canada because it was called Alberta? French toast is your preferred way to eat eggs for breakfast. Ooh, love me a good French toast. I thought I was going to be getting poutine that day. I was uh, wrong. Surprising no one. Oh, lads! Why y'all over there? What y'all thinking is going on over here? What do y'all know that I don't know? the stew party uh they went to the wrong house damn no wonder they're so hungry sports game weekend maybe there's actually like a whole mythos for the world that is uh project zomboid like, it's obviously supposed to be set in our world in 1994, uh, Kentucky, but obviously, like, oh, leather jacket, my beloved. Let's go ahead and throw our normal jacket down. We do not need that anymore. But yeah, with regards to the radio, there are actually, like, radio shows that are going on with useful information. It's just unfortunate because all of the radios are battery powered. And the reason why I say that's unfortunate is because uh, TVs are ambient powered. So in the beginning, everywhere is considered having power, but eventually... Um... When the power goes out, you will only be able to power things by using generators. And generators will only power a certain radiance around, a radius around themselves, etc, etc. Um, oh, it's almost TV time again, huh? Oh shit. I didn't even try the front door. You might just open right up. Oh boy! Front door opened right up. Hello there. Gonna almost sing a Blink-182 song again. No, come on. Thank you. Okay, do you have a TV in here? You do. Fantastic. Give me something good. Hmm. 
Oh, it's carpentry again. Which is good. We need it. But the guy is a jerk. I guess we can wait for our pork chop, right? Man, I can't believe we lost our cowboy hat, hat too. Honestly tragic. How ironic, you had pork chops for dinner today? Hell yeah. Listen, Pixie. Would you... <gasps> Carpentry level one! It's actually, it's actually not relevant to us because we are going to be uh, maxed out, but it is good to have. Listen, I'm just saying, the guy is a jerk, and I will not come back on my harsh stance on Woodcraft Guy. I don't even know his name. I know Dean's name. I do like Dean. But Dean teaches survival, and that's not terribly useful. Oh, my wooden pipe! My metal pipe! Okay, we're actually going to pop back for those metal bars. We could stop by all of these houses to make sure we've remembered to turn off the stove every time. Um, but I will be honest, I'm not going to do that. That car has seen some shit. Uh, literally the end of the world, Battle Benoit, if you can believe that. Okay, let's grab one metal bar and another one, so that way we ha do have a backup weapon. Now the metal bar should have about as much range as the pipes. A stake? Sure, did somebody try to... <laughs> Vampire Hunter you? Oh yeah. Buffy out here? I'm gonna make sure all the stoves have been turned off. These houses are gonna be useful halfway points. We're already sleepy and it's only 1 p.m. We're gonna drop the steak here. I love the steak for its comedic value, but uh... That's gonna be a negatory. Yeah. 
the duffel bag is almost capped out. I guess should I not have grabbed the second metal bar? We just don't have a good secondary weapon. The hammer is like very low condition. If we can at least get to the end of the neighborhood today, we'll call it a win. Just grab another bag. You know what's funny is I don't believe it works that way. It might, and if it does, I apologize. But you cannot just infinitely uh, weight reduction per perpetual bag jutsu. Game too realistic, I know. That's a shame. This house has a spatula, but they don't have a stove. They just have a microwave. Y'all were thinking about the future, hey? Have you bottles you can fill and leave behind? Ooh, we do. Now that is the sort of infrastructural stuff. Lads. That, um... I'm not gonna... Oh shit. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, about the hitbox being BS. We were obviously standing on that zombie, but they just got up anyways. And then when we tried to swing at them to take advantage of the fact that they were down... <sighs> Lads... Ooh, another clip on tie. I'm not going to, but I appreciate it. Surely some girl dropped her hydro hydro flask. That'd make a great uh, weapon. Is hydro flask the Visco girls? The thing? Ooh, a revolver. Let's go ahead and wear the double holster. Let's go ahead and attach this revolver to the holster. We will certainly never use it. We are gonna wear this fun hat. And you did not have a bulletproof vest on, right? Then I do not care about you. Oh no, I did kill the deputy. You're right. Pretty heavily encumbered. I just want to make it to the end of the row today. Also, you hit felt too bad to hit the thumbs down button. So for Don Don Trail streams, you'll only watch if you're ahead of me since you'd like to avoid spoilers. And yes, it is. Everyone went on to Stanley's and now a Wallace. Why do people love their bottles so much? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> gotcha. No, um. Battle Benoit, feel free to hit the thumbs down. I need that information because that's literally going to tell me how viable or not viable uh, certain things are. Like, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you being considerate for me. But also, uh, that level of consideration actually <laughs> wraps back around to being slightly uh, hurtful. So just, just rock and roll, bestie. Fill bottles, you're right. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally asking to see how many people show up for those streams because... So, you know, not to do too much of a peek behind the curtain, right? But, um... No, Battle Benoit, it's, it's okay. I, I, need, I need about as an objective a metric as possible because... Uh, there's been a lot of stream stuff that I wish... Oh my god, did they turn off water again? It's literally day two again. It's happened too many times to be a coincidence. 
I'm so tilted. Water should not turn off on day two. Day two is just one of the days where it's an option. I have to adjust that setting, yeah. It's starting to get insulting. Ugh, but that's besides the point. Should have listened to Pixie, filled up bottles when I had the chance. But on the flip side, I really did not think that it would happen freaking five times in a row. Okay. It's 4 p.m. We can, like, kill a ladder too, right? At minimum, we can check this freaking, um, this trunk. I did not check this trunk earlier, and I'm curious. 29 empty bottles The empty bottles could be useful. I presume I cannot get inside this car. Yeah, too busted up. Like you said, no idea if you'll be working or not and therefore ahead or behind, but even if you're behind it's totally something you'd go back and watch through VOD YouTube once you've caught up. No, and I appreciate that battle Benoit. Let me let me be clear, right? Um a part of the reason why I'm I'm trying to find out the info is just market research, right? Because uh Dawn Trail is going to be kind of a make it or break it in terms of uh, whether or not I can do streaming. Because Final Fantasy XIV is my best metric game, unfortunately. Um, and at the trajectory that I'm at right now, we're not gaining followers or viewers at a rate enough. Oh no, look at that horde. Lads, why? And I, I can't just peel one or two off. Damn, 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 damn. I gotta hope they separate out organically. Or hit them tomorrow when I'm fresh. Um, Final Fantasy XIV is good content. It is good content. I'm I'm worried about how Dawn Trail is going to pan out next. I'll be honest, I think Dawn Trail... Like, I'm, I'm worried Dawn Trail is going to be a little bit like Endwalker. You know what I mean? Just turn yourself in a cat in a cat mommy per at chat. Oh yeah, that'll work. Why did I not consider being a cat mommy? Yeah, yeah. Is that doing anything for anybody? You want a cat mommy streamer? Be the cat mommy streamer you want to see in the world. 5.30. Let's go ahead and start reading Carpentry Volume 1. There's no point when we get to... Oh, you know what? There's a little bit of a point. That's 75. That's 75 XP. And reading Carpentry 1 will give us a bonus to our Carpentry, right? So that's a guaranteed Carpentry 2, and we haven't even done any Carpentry yet. Survival Guy, which is not great. Farming. We will, we will want farming, in the interest of fairness. Go ahead and eat this orange. Go ahead and turn off the TV. Go to bed at 6.30 p.m. You know, the time I normally go to bed, of course. Uh, we'll go ahead and set an alarm on our watch. For 5 
a.m. We'll go ahead and go to sleep. Damn, we were tired. We almost needed that alarm. Tuck, bedge, kisses, mwah. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm gonna eat a whole lime. I'm not gonna eat a whole lime, I have an orange. I forgot about my orang. Yeah. What are we gonna do? I guess let's go ahead and read more carpentry. Um, just for that uh, XP, just to guarantee that we get to at least level two. Okay, but now you're sleepy. Go to bed, silly. What are you doing? I appreciate you watching the stream, and I appreciate you interacting. I can't believe it's the cook show. Um, and I appreciate you interacting, but you got out of bed six hours ago. And if you're sleepy, get, get back into bed. gonna go turn on stream in bed. I appreciate that. Okay, let's grab our duffel bag. We're very close to the promised land. Stream in bed is goaded, I tell ya. Wow. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life, but also... You will journal and watch to my struggle as a treat. Now, what does it say about you that your treat is me suffering? Hmm? I think we don't even mess around with these houses anymore. There's a lot of good food that was just sort of floating about. There's a lot of soup pots that I'm going to be able to slap onto the ground, and that way it's going to collect rainwater for us. But I think... Let's just focus on getting to High Fence World, because we have to be close. Yeah, we're incredibly close. Oh, we're almost back to the promised land, y'all. Which, I don't even know that we've actually gotten there on stream. Have I, have I actually shown you guys what I'm talking about? Or do you all think I'm just talking about some sort of religious holy ground? What do you mean? That's why 17 people are here to watch you suffer. Well, I appreciate it. I mean, I don't appreciate you being here to watch me suffer, but you get it. Let's go ahead and put the duffel bag on the ground. I did not grab any food with us because I wasn't thinking ahead. Four lads, you say? Four lads at the same time, you say? We did not clear behind us. So I am going to 
do this little circle. Hell yeah. All right, and you got beef jerky on you? No, you've got a fork though, which is hilarious. I always like finding a zombie with a fork in them because like obviously the the actual thing that happened was somebody tried to, you know, use it as a weapon. But I do like the idea that someone was like, oh man, I'm in a bad way. Uh, oh, excuse me. I didn't realize you were here, sir. I'm so sorry, did you feel left out? Um, it does make me think that somebody tried to eat the zombie first, which is funny. Duct tape? Hell yeah. Minecraft taught you not to do that. You know what's so funny, Battle Benoit, is that a long time ago, definitely before the Caves and Cliffs updates, definitely before the end, I think, was introduced into the game, uh, you know how uh, you take... You know how eating zombie flesh actually inflicts penalties onto you? It used to be that you could eat more zombie flesh than the penalties that were inflicted upon you. So you could basically eat zombie flesh so fast that you could sort of outstrip the problem. Um, and I, I remember I used to think that it was just like a more efficient way to do food, you know? Um, now... There was another problem. Or uh, not a problem. It used to be, God, what was the big mod where you uh, made... Oh my God, I should not have done that. What was the big mod where you made a big furnace to make weapons? Um, like Tinker's Construct, I want to say? Tinker's Construct had a like sub mod in it from Don't Starve, which allowed you to have like a jerky drying rack and you could uh, dry out screwdriver. I think we already have a screwdriver, so I'm not gonna take it. You could dry out zombie flesh to make monster jerky and it was a very inefficient food source, but I was like, I'm role playing a paladin anyways. I'm just running around killing zombies all the time. Uh, why not? So I just lived off of zombie flesh. Tinker's Construct, hell yeah. To be fair, you'd eat it sometimes in desperate situations. Listen, desperate times call for desperate measures. Damn it. Okay, we can't get into the food store in a way that I'd be happy with. We can crack open a window and break through, but I'd rather not do that at this point. Because if we crack open the window, even though it's all fresh produce in there, which we will obviously want for later, if we crack open the window, zombies can just naturally go in later. Um, and I kind of like knowing that right now it's fairly safe in there, so. So your paladin ate people? <laughs> Um, actually, Pixie, what you see is, is that in, uh, Minecraft, the zombies were, of course, made from villagers. And so I didn't eat people, I ate villagers, which are their own race of Squidwardians. 
Sky Factory was the only version you really ever played. I... Is, was Sky Factory a Skyblocks thing? I cannot for the life of me remember if I ever fiddled with it. You started with one tree and they said make it work. Hell yeah, it was I do I do remember that. It was it was a good time. We need to remember that that uh trailer is there. <sighs> oh shit, we did not equip the duffel bag on our back, so we are currently dying from how heavy it is. You do actually take damage uh, from having carrying heavy things, it's fine. We made it! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the safest neighborhood in Moldra. If you get set up here right, you never need to worry again. This neighborhood is like playing on easy mode, baby. A riding helmet? Fuck yeah, I'll take a helmet. That'll make me so safe. I'm so encumbered. I don't need this walkie-talkie. So you played a human paladin in D&D. You'd eat a dwarf? I mean, am I dying? Uh, you know what's funny is that cannibalism is always a conversation that fascinates me on, like, an academic and, like, legal perspective, which I know is very silly, but, um, uh, easy mode? Veto this neighborhood. How dare you? Uh, there's one house we need to get to, um... But but cannibalism is actually something that squicks me out. Like, if I think about cannibalism too hard... No! That house burned down? Oh, that's a, such a good house, though, normally. Well, I guess we're, we know where our farm expansion will be set up. Demise would have totally chomped on mummies back in the day. Listen, I'm just saying... A bunch of lads over there, but I kind of don't want to deal with them yet until I've secured the perfect home. Hello, sir. And the perfect home is this one, which is, of course, surrounded by a fuck mothering ton of zombies because it is the perfect home. And you know what? I will fight them for this place! Mmm, I've made a mistake. Oh no, I'm about to die. Ah, oh, shit. I got too cocky. And my metal bar broke? You rat bastard. Oh, there was a key on the ground there. Uh, remind me that that's there. When it comes up later. We didn't get these lads up here, so this is going to be unfortunate. Cannibalism as a euphemism for love? 
I've definitely, I've definitely played around with it, right? And like on a literary perspective, I understand it. Um, We did not clear out this neighborhood, which is unfortunate. Because I genuinely do not know if this place is safe or not. High exertion can barely jog. That's bad. Because... We did not play around with good. There's a boy here. Fuck, and we left that duffel bag back there. Okay. How bad is this area? Cortman Medical is fine right now. No, there's a boy there. But we're gonna be able to buy ourselves sometimes with the good old rope a dope. And we know this area is safe. So we're going to wait for our exertion to come back. Don't play this way. This way is a bad way to play for immersion. <laughs> this is fully me cheating. I will be the first to admit it. No! All right. I can deal with two, though. Uh, this might be game. No, yeah, I can't climb anymore. We're too tired. My hubris! Oh, it was such a good setup, too. Oh, no! Damn, 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 damn. I should have just been a little bit more patient. Uh, I don't know that there's I don't know that there's a way we get out of this actually. I should have just been a little bit more patient. Ah. All of these good houses, they were so good. We're going to have to sacrifice at least one of them. And we missed TV time. Are we dead? We're lacerated and we're bleeding, but we're not bitten. So there's a chance that we're dead, but it's not a guarantee. Okay, we gotta rip up some of the clothes that we're wearing. 
because we gotta try and make bandages to stop the bleeding. Oh, we can use the adhesive bandages, actually. That's gonna be higher quality and increase the likelihood of us not getting an infection. Uh, why do I have a whole fan club chasing after me? Listen, Battle Uh, don't do as I did. That was the wrong way to behave in that particular situation. I all- I'm normally much more patient, but I just- because- because the hub- because the promised land was in sight, I was like, we made it. Ugh. We're sleepy, which is unfortunate. Yeah, there's a there's a 10% chance that we're infected anyways, which the way this run is going, that's going to turn out to be a 100% chance. But before anything else, we have to rest. Now, all of those houses down there are definitely damaged. Um, what I did was I, I serpentined through the houses, the zombies lost line of sight on me, and more importantly than them losing line of sight on me, there are other things that might attract their interests. Zombies are attracted to attacking doors, they're attracted to attacking windows, etc. Um, yeah, it's a dirty bandage now. We're going to have to put on those ripped sheets. In an ideal world, I would have preferred to have sterilized these ripped sheets. But, um, this is not an ideal world. This is very much not an ideal world. Let's see what our protection is doing. Yeah, it looks like we took a bunch of hits on our left, on the left side of our, or on our forearms as we were like trying to protect ourselves. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be holes in our outfit. But oh, the denim shirt is fine. The sweater vest is fine. Oh, the jacket is fine. Oh shit, never mind. We came out of that. Not actually getting hit too bad. Yeah, we'll see how lucky I am. I might be infected. And if I am, there's nothing you can do about that. Now, we don't need, um, we don't need, uh, carpentry level four to be on every single character. We just need at least enough carpentry level four to create a rain barrel. So even if this Elish is infected, uh, as long as he makes it far enough to make the rain barrel stuff, uh, we should be fine. Ridiculously tired, can barely jog, still in some minor pain, still hungry. 
I think we don't risk TV time. I don't know how many zombies are out there. And we are not capable of fighting. I think we I think we purposefully choose to avoid TV time. Sag, but you're probably right. Yeah. The only reason why I haven't um, gone to uh, sleep is because I'm still waiting to see what's happening with our bandages. Hilariously, this is giving us experience in first aid. A tiny bit, but we're getting it. Uh, it's just, you know, also we'd rather not have it at all, but there you go. Yep, dirty bandage again. God, I need to stop bleeding. I get that it's a laceration. Fuck, it's infected? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Shit. This might be... This might be game over. Did we have soap in this house? I don't think so. I think it was another house that had soap. Damn, 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 damn. I mean, we can't do anything about it now. How long until we know if Zombmeist? Uh, basically, after being being infected, this is, it's not necessarily a zombie infection. It's just meaning the wound has been infected. Um, it's a it's it's a matter of it's just a matter of time in anybody's guess. You know what I mean? I will say if I was doing a multiplayer game and this happened, I would like abandon all of my stuff and I'd go on a murder run. Like just committing to taking out as many zombies as I go as possible. You don't envy the poor boy? Yeah. Getting bored? Buddy! That's like the last of the things we need right now. We gotta get something to sterilize the wound. But, I mean, now... We just gotta go to sleep. Cause we can't do anything with all of these debuffs. And even though we have that infected wound, we can't, uh, you know, sanitize it, sterilize it, any of that. 
fuck off. It's foggy, you rat bastards. Oh shit. Oh no, we still have the laceration, but it's not infected anymore. We might be through the woods on that front. We missed TV time, which is unfortunate. Our character is getting bored, which is very aggravating given the circumstances. Uh, I'm not going out while it's I'm not going out while it's foggy. Glad I clarified what? Sorry. I'm very stressed out right now. Uh, we're a little bit past our normal end time, so we're going to go ahead and call it at the 30 mark, just because I need to grab my duffel bag before I forget that, and we need to deal with some of the boys in this neighborhood now. I thought the killing spree would be zombies. Yep. Oopsie poopsie. Damn, this run was going so good and then it really wasn't. I think we need to get out there and just start swinging. We can save it. Yeah, it's salvageable. But this is what I get for being impatient. Oh fuck, look at all those boys. No! Come on! I freaking hate the hitbox sometimes. It's so aggravating. The fence trick is fun sometimes, but like... Did we get hit? We didn't get hit. How's our protection doing? Our legs are all messed up. We need new jeans. Ugh. That's denim shorts. That's the opposite of new jeans. Yeah, there's a small horde over there. Which is, like, fine. I'd be able to handle them normally. I'm just very stressed right now. Oh my god, and there's a horde up here now as well? Why? Oh my god, a new pair of jeans, though. Hell yeah. Okay. God, leveling up sneaking right now is so deeply upsetting. What's the longest stream uh, run I've done on stream? Are you talking about Zomboid, or are you talking about just streaming contiguously?
Please let this house not be the house that's locked. Fantastic. Oh, is this stew party house? Fuck yeah, it was stew party house. Love that for us. Got lost following me, yeah. Zomboid? Um, I only think like 10 days so far. I don't know what it is about stream. When I play this game normally, I'm a giant freaking coward. But uh, streaming it, I don't know if I'm just like obsessed with trying to give you guys content that's a little bit faster or what. Uh, I have not been lasting as long on stream as I normally do. Showing off. Maybe a little bit of showing off. Um, working our way back to the boys who we lost following us isn't awesome, but the thing is, is we need to deal with this horde, right? And like the only reason why we were able to do that here is because we knew we dealt with the boys who were in this area. That's that's a part of the reason why it's better to be slow and steady. Like a part of my failure by like flailing and running around like we did was that we picked up new boys as we were going. Fuck, another crawler? Seriously? Pardon my language. I'm a little stressed out. Ooh, a black corset, you say? Yeah, see, the zombies broke into that house and broke down the door. And that's a part of the reason why I was able to lose some of them is because once the zombies lose line of sight with me, they're going to attack other things that are high priority. So we can't do this trick all the time. Did I not swear? Recklessness is fun for sure. I don't know that I'd agree with that personally. Let's see how our metal bar is doing. Oh, our metal bar is about to break. We need a new weapon. Shit. I think we're going to have to commit to the hammer being busted. Where did that horde up here go? Because if that horde moved on... Nope, they're outside that house. Damn it, that's our last metal bar in there. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, we need to think this through. This metal pipe is dead. I think we're going to have to go frying pan, which is not my favorite thing in the world, but... I mean, what else are we going to do, you know? <sighs> do we commit to meat cleaver? Meat cleaver is short blade. Um, it might do some solid damage, but we don't have any skill in it right now. <sighs> I think we just got to... I, I, I don't know that we have any other good weapons immediately around us. Because that bar is about to break. Apologizes for expressing slight anger. Well, I mean, I want it to be a good time, y'all.
God, the blade is so much less satisfying. Got a butter knife. Sure. And also, I believe bladed weapons mean that their gear uh, will have holes in it as well. So, yeah. Was there anything fun in the box? There were a couple of tapes. There was actually a woodcraft tape. So, if we would had the time and we're not stressing about it, we could actually um, get some more carpentry. Uh, but... I don't know that we are currently at a point where I can afford to care about that, if that makes sense. Like, I mean, we did manage to escape this horde, which was an insanely close call. Um, but... High-end camera? Yippee! A crowbar would be sweet. I can't tell if that's a dead lad there or an up lad there. No, okay, that's a lad I killed. Did I actually even check inside this house? No, of course I didn't. Why would I do something that would help me in the future? Oh god! Are you f for real, Buster? God damn it. I'm so angry. I did get impatient. I wanted to show you guys the best house to be in. Uh, do you have a baseball bat or anything here? Because that would be sweet AF. Ooh, Carpentry Volume 3 is actually going to be good. No, we're going to leave these here. <laughs> Grabbing these now? Bad idea, actually. You will grab these red issues. And this fresh tomato. Was that the charred lot? No, the charred lot is not the best house. It is a good house that is nearby, but it is not, um, it is not the best house. The best house was the one that I was trying to go to that had the horde next to it. Ah, it's such a shame. We were so close to ending perfectly on time. Now, there are going to be some other stragglers who are going to be floating around this area. Yeah, there's one of them. Ah, the meat cleaver is really not doing it, huh? God, 
God. And you know what it is, too, is that this neighborhood always feels safe to me, even if it isn't, right? Like, we were looking at, what, a billion zombies in a yard? And I was like, no, I can just do it. Couldn't just do it. How foolish of me. How utterly foolish, cries in Spanish. You did do it, kinda. Not uh, in the way that I'd necessarily want it to be done, but true. I think that laceration will have healed now. I'm gonna freaking make sure I 86 these nerds. I've already paid my price for not being thorough. My biggest worry right now is that this house has been compromised in terms of its like windows and stuff because you cannot repair glass in this game right now. And I love that house being as pristine as possible, which is again, just a real hubris point. Okay, we can definitely grab the duffel bag now, but we're gonna have to swing back around for Duffy the duffel bag uh, because I want to make sure the house is actually safe. Yeah, and it's not, of course. Right, here are all the boys that I managed to lose earlier by sprinting around the house. I don't want all of them if that's okay. Like a couple of them would be nice. No, I'm gonna get all of them. No, you're right. You're so right. Duffy, you're watching my six, right? There's no zombies behind us. Alright, Duffy, I'm officially out of your jurisdiction. If there are zombies behind us, I can't blame it on you. Oh my god. Oh, matches though. Those are good. We have ruined that leather jacket. There is one more boy. There's one boy who was following us, or did we kill him? Oh, it looks like we got him. Good job, Duffy. Antidepressants, hilarious. Don't take random unlabeled antidepressants that you find in the yard or on a corpse. Those boys down there are gonna be a problem. But they're not a problem yet. What about random antipsychotics? 
I don't know if random antipsychotics are a good thing. I would, I would say they're not. Fuck, I can't believe it. Can't believe you ruined my nice home. Look at that window. The glass blower profession hasn't even been added to the game yet. SMH my head. Oh my god. Lad with shotgun, huh? Now, inside the house, there's definitely someone banging on a door, which is unfortunate because I like, again, this house being as pristine as possible. Is that a broken window? It is. Now we got lucky that... Oh, there he is. He's on the inside. Come on, bud. Stop hitting that door. Okay. We finally did it. It wasn't clean. And it wasn't pretty. But... As far as our dream house goes, one broken window in the zombie apocalypse, not that bad. I am going to very quickly deal with these boys over here, so that way they don't surprise me next time. There was a key on the ground somewhere? There was not. I, in my panic scrolling, um, accidentally looked at my own key on my own key ring, <laughs> uh, which was good. Yeah. No, no. Rude. I don't remember the fallen zombies being this much of a pain in the ass in the past. Ah, oh, God, but maybe that's because I don't remember this game clearly at all. All right. Duffy, we're home. Next time, we're starting in the promised land, and we're going to be so careful. We're going to be so careful. We're going to be so thorough. We're not going to make any mistakes. And, uh, yeah. Welcome to the neighborhood. Now, you have nothing to base this on, but I feel like if the zombies were real, it wouldn't be the biggest deal nor lead to an apocalypse. Uh, I actually agree with you, Battle Benoit. Um, in the real world, uh, I think we would actually be more than equipped to deal with it. But that's a conversation for later. Next time poll on how long he lasts. How dare you? Um, we can do that. Uh, all right. Thanks everybody for coming in and for hanging out. I appreciate it. Elish implying zombies are going to be added to IRL soon. That's exactly what I'm saying. 
let's send y'all out somewhere, hey? Oh, you know what's so funny? Uh, we've got a friend playing Project Zomboid right now. Um, now I, uh, I was recommended this individual, uh, by a friend of a friend, but so far we've had a great time. So I'm going to send y'all over there, drop them a follow if you feel so inclined. And if you don't, hey, uh, just vibe out. First time slaying zombies, they say. So, you know, enjoy that. Sayonara, nerds. <laughs>